What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jay Cleve. Got my brother, Ronald, behind the camera. Do you? This is Smoking Grill Brothers. In today's episode, we are going to be grilling some fish. But what kind of fish are we grilling? Tell us, Jay Cleve. We are going to be grilling a red snapper. Okay, it's going to be delicious. This is going to be a lemon garlic flavor that we're going to put on the snapper. We're also going to stuff it with some onions, garlic, as well as some peppers to infuse that flavor of those vegetables inside of this snapper. So it's going to be a really, really great cook. But before we get into any of that, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you stay in tune with all of our future episodes so you don't miss a beat. Now let's get into this cook. All right, it's time for us to prepare this fish. But before we do that, let's take a closer look. Let's take a look at this fish, Ronald. Oh man, look at this baby. Look at it. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. Just under five pounds. Now we're about to go ahead and start seasoning this red snapper. I'm not using any specific amounts. I'm just gonna go by the touch. But just keep in mind, you don't wanna over season your fish because especially with this one in particular, it's a light fish. And if you over season it, it's gonna become too salty or too, it's gonna overpower the flavor of the fish. So you just want to season just enough. I'm going to season the fish as well as the mixed vegetables with the same seasonings. And the seasonings that I'm going to be using are some onion powder, some cayenne pepper, some paprika, some black pepper, garlic powder, some salt, and some adobo. So this is going to be really good. Now let's go ahead and start seasoning up this fish. All right, guys. So we had to put the brakes on the seasonings. Why? Because this is a lemon garlic red snapper cook. So we actually have to put that on the red snapper first because that's gonna be our binder before we put the seasoning on. So we're just gonna melt some unsalted butter, add some minced garlic, as well as some fresh lemon juice that we're gonna blend that all together and then we're gonna brush the red snapper, then add the seasonings on and it's gonna be great. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna get this lemon garlic sauce. I'm about to brush it on inside the red snapper. Really what I just used was about two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Uh, a teaspoon of garlic and remember a half of a lemon uh, squeezed out. So let's go ahead. Let's start brushing this red snapper. So we just finished seasoning up this red snapper. It looks really, really good and it smells oh, oh, so good. Now we're about to cut up these mixed vegetables, get those seasoned up, and then we're gonna stuff that baby inside this fish and then it's gonna be on and popping from there. Let's get to it.
right, so just finished cutting up and seasoning the vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and stuff these vegetables inside of this red snapper. Then we're gonna close it up with some butcher twine. Um, if the butcher twine doesn't hold, we'll probably use some foil just to add that extra enclosure to keep it enclosed up so that way we don't lose any vegetables while we're transporting it on and off the grill. So let's go ahead and let's stuff this baby up. But before I do that, you know, I always gotta taste something. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Oh man, yep. Mm. Mm. I, I love I love raw vegetables. You know, I don't like it. All right, but let's go ahead. Let's go get this baby stuffed in. So as you can see, we stuffed this red snapper up and I, I butcher twine the heck out of this thing. I didn't feel like using any foil, so I butcher twine it up. If you want to get a closer look, it, take a look at it. So this is going to be good. We're going to grill it just like this. Once it's done, we're going to rest it for about 15 to 20 minutes. But when I rest it, I'm actually going to wrap it in foil afterwards to make sure to lock in that moisture to lock in those juices. So before we get this on the grill, we're about to go outside, have a quick smoke break, a nice little drink. We're gonna see you guys at Smoke Talk. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jay Cleve. Got my brother, Ronald. Yo, yo. This is Smoke Talk. So today we're going to talk about giving back. Mm -hmm. But before we get into any of that, we're going to talk about what we're smoking and what we're drinking. Thank you. So we're both smoking on some Drew Estate Cigars Acid. Yep. Mine is a Cuba Maduro. This is a medium body. It's infused with a lot of different spices. It's more on the sweeter side. It's definitely wrapped in a Dominican Republican wrapper. Um, so that's what I'm smoking on. What about you, my brother? Everything you said, it's the, the Maduro. <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm smoking on. Regular Cuba Cuba, very sweet, very flavorful cigar. Uh, if you, you taste it, it seems like you're biting into some fruit or something, but it's all good. This is what we're smoking on today. Awesome. And we're also drinking on, as of right here, First Call Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Yeah. All right, so let's get into it, giving back. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we are living in a world where we're hustling, we're bustling, trying to achieve what is ours. You know, yeah. it's all about me. Absolutely. And a lot of times people don't necessarily think to give back, yep. give back to their community, give back to their family, give mm -hmm. back to whoever that may, that person may be or the area that they live in. So with that being said, Ronald, with your take on it, you know, what's the importance of giving back? Well, giving back, I mean, you if you were, I mean, every all of us are blessed people. So I would say that we can always give back to one, someone that's less fortunate than ourselves. Yes. So one thing that I'm very passionate about is the homeless. Yeah. Like where we live in this area, like you see tons of people that just are not fortunate enough to have a place to live. Right. So I would say, you know, if you see someone in that situation like that, you know, give them a few dollars, give them a, uh, buy them a meal, make sure that they're taken care of, you know, in, in the world that we live in. We have, sometimes we can be so cold hearted and right. look right past them. Yeah. But just notice that they're there and um, just continue to just give back and um, sow into those people because, again, you know, we're, we're very fortunate people and there are those that are less fortunate than us. Right. Yeah. Obviously, no, and that's a great take on it. And just like my brother Ronald said, you know, um, in terms of the homeless, that's definitely important to me. But another thing that's important is, you know, if you can give back knowledge that you learn. Mm -hmm. A lot of people learn a lot of different skill sets, a lot of different um, trades, and they don't want to get that information out because they're afraid of competition yeah. but one thing I've learned like me I'm a real estate investor 
And one of the things I'm working to position myself is get to the point where I'll be able to share this knowledge with other young men and women, especially, you know, young men and women of color like myself, the same information that they can be able to in turn utilize this to be able to achieve some of the same accolades and the same goals that I'm accomplishing right now. So that's why it's really important to get back, pour back into your community. Um, I'm doing some things right now so I can get to the point to even go back home to my community out in New York to get back. Um, shout out to Newburgh, New York, as well as Queens, New York, just to get back in those areas. So we're going to keep this short, keep this brief. But like we said, this is smoke talk. And like we said, get back. Get back. That's it. Get back. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it to yourself. Well, with that saying, my brother, let's go ahead and Toast have a nice up. little drink. Yes, bro. Mm. Oh, I almost spilled right. it. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go get you an acid. Oh, you'll love it, especially if you like flavored cigars. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> he's still in my life. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> All right, get back to this. What, 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 what we grilling? We about to put this red snap on the grill. <laughs> All right, we gotta go get this thing on the grill. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me just take a couple more puffs first. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Smoke Talk. Remember, remember the purpose of giving back, whether it's monetary or informational wise, just give back to your community, give back to your loved ones and part into people's lives because that's going to be huge. Now it's time to get this grill up to temperature. Today we are utilizing some royal oak charcoal. So this we're going to be using and we're also going to be using some royal oak tumbleweeds to get this grill started. So let's go ahead, bring it on in. We're going to go ahead and get this grill lit. All right. Let's stay right there. Let me get my other piece to take off the grill grate. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to just place a couple of tumbleweeds down. This wind is blowing crazy. Yeah. It, it, it's always blowing crazy, but don't mind the wind. We'll just place a couple of tumbleweeds down because this is, is gonna be our fire starter. So we'll put one right here, one down in there, and one over here. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead. We pour our, ch our charcoal in here. This is all natural charcoal, so it doesn't have any of the additives or chemicals inside of it. That's one reason why I love to use royal oak because it's an all natural charcoal. All right, so now that we have this built, and we're going to cook our red snapper on a higher heat. So we're going to try to get our temperature between four to 500 degrees. That's where we want to cook it on, grill it on. All right, so let me open this up to get this started. You're going to start seeing it immediately start smoking. So that's one of our tumbleweeds right there. Don't worry, that's neighbors. All right, here's the second one right here. Let's get that one started. All right, so all the tumbleweeds are lit. Now we're just gonna let the charcoal get up to temp, let them ash over a bit. So that way the grill can get up the temp and then we're gonna bring the red snapper and put it on the grill. Stay tuned. All right, so we got our grill up to temp. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the red snapper on the grill. Let's go get it on. Ooh, grill's hot. It's time to put this snapper on the snapper grill. On the grill. Ooh, hear that? Remember, you want your temperature to be between 400 and 500 degrees. Right now, ours was at 400 degrees when we put it on the grill. All right, we're gonna check this in about 15 minutes, flip it over on the other side, and then we'll, at the halfway point, we'll put a thermometer probe in there just to check the temperature because the internal temp that you want it to be at, as far as when it's completely done, is 145, all right? So you want your internal temp of your fish to be at 145, that lets you know it's completely done. Stay tuned. 
All right, so our snapper is done. It has reached an internal temperature of 145 degrees. We're gonna go ahead, take it off the grill, wrap it in some foil, let it rest for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna have a taste test. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And we did flip it over one time, but let's take a look. Oh yeah, oh, that's looking good. Looking very good. Remember, we had the other side that was nice and charred up. This side is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead, let's get it wrapped up in the foil. And then we're gonna have our first taste test. All right, so our red snapper has been resting for 20 minutes. We had such a great cook today. It came out really good. One side of the snapper was nice and charred, but now it's time for our taste test. Let's go ahead, cut into the meat, and let's taste it, along with the vegetables, right? Let's bring it on in. All right, here we go. Now you gotta be careful because this does have some bones in it. Well, clearly it has bones, it's the whole fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to taste some with some of the meat as well as with some of the vegetables. Here we go. The moment of truth. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. Man. Did you do it? Did you do it? Did I do it? <laughs> I, I sure did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, man. All right. Guys. That was great. Ooh, and I can taste the spice too. From the cayenne pepper to the jalapeno pepper. That is really, really good. Guys, I encourage you. I implore you. Definitely get a red snapper and grill some with this recipe that we just did. It's delicious. It's not going to disappoint. But enough of that. We're going to get this get this all cut up. We're going to eat this. But until then, listen, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you stay in tune with all our future videos. We're going to see you soon. Until then. This is Smoking Grill Brothers. Cutting up and seasoning. What are these again? I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we did say this is a lemon garlic cook. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. All right, you ready? Yeah, baby, let's go. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Jay Cleve. Got my brother Ronald. Yo, 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 yo. This is Smoke Talk. Now today, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're drinking. I don't know, we're gonna talk about the topic first. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so hopefully. Hopefully what? Hopefully you're gonna do your dance. Do your dance. Do your dance. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, like, share, subscribe. Oh, you really rock. Oh, all right. Yeah, smoking real uh, rock with it. Smoking grill rock with it. Smoking. <laughs> oh, <what's that? laughs> Dang, I won't record.